and they're weak. Do you mind if I borrow Gordon for one second? Come on. Hey, I'll see you guys outside. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Reverse engineer an IBM PC with me. Why? What would be the point? Because I want to build a machine that nobody else has the balls to build. Wow. You're serious. Look, look, that's a terrible idea. Why? For such a multitude of reasons that I, I can... Because it's illegal. Okay, worst case scenario, IBM sues us into the ground. Uh, Carter finds out that both of us would be on the street. Apple, IBM, they have the market sewn up. Plus you got, you got Commodore, Tandy, Texas Instruments. I'm sorry, but you missed it. We all did. Gordon, wait, wait. That's why we do it as Cardiff Electric. Scale up instantly. Are you out of your mind? Buzzards like Bosworth and Cardiff would never go for something So like we that. forced their hand. Forced their hand? How are you going to force their hand? Let me worry about that part. Do you have a family, Joe? That's what I thought. Like, thanks, but no thanks. Uh, eight months ago, I was a miserable sales engineer whose favorite part of the day was clocking out. Yesterday, I broke into a crime scene to steal the state-of-the-art computer that I helped create. Cameron, the, the, the brilliant programmer, months away from a college degree and a promising career in software, she dropped out, ended up hacking into the computers of a national bank. J John Bosworth, Texas good old boy, president of the I Hate Joe McMillan fan club. John Bosworth hatched a plan to embezzle thousands and thousands of dollars just to keep this project alive. You, you made us all crazy. Uh, based on my examination last time, the symmetrical weakness in your hands, the memory and concentration tests, your employment history, um, exposure to lead solder and working with solvents, I ordered the MRI. I know you were a little ambivalent about the test, but I am glad that we sprung for it because it really is an amazing new tool. According to the radiologists, there are two areas, very small, that show signs of atrophy. Atrophy? Brain damage. It's called chronic toxic encephalopathy. Now, given this combination of clues, it explains your physical symptoms, and it likely accounts for the psychological symptoms you described to me as well. well irritability and the mood swings. Yeah, how do I fix it? I'm sorry to say there is no treatment. Brain tissue does not repair itself. This will be a permanent condition. Like, I feel fine. Okay, like, what the hell's gonna happen now? Well, your symptoms could likely progress. This could get worse. This was years of slow accumulation of these toxins into your blood. But in light of that, the fact that your symptoms have accelerated would indicate that you likely haven't seen the worst of this yet. I am sorry, Gordon. I'm not buying it. The blood sugar excuse? It's neurological. I've been dealing with it for about a year. They, uh, they found very small areas of atrophy. So technically it's degenerative, but... Jesus Christ. So you're dying? No. No, I I'm not dying. I mean, I mean, we're all, we're all dying. But no, it's under control. I'm, I'm taking medication and most days I'm fine. Other days. You pile drive a zenith. <laughs> no, that's a. Uh... That was a first. Donna knows?
I wouldn't mind it. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> we broke up three weeks ago. Oh, man. Hey, Gordon. Happy 40th. Um, news, sports, sports uh, stock market. And, and yeah, sure, we will deliver people to other sites, but they always come back to us. Yes. How much longer is this going to take? Just two more seconds. God, you can. I swear to God. No sense of time. Let's see? Who needs a guy, huh? Who needs a guy? Hey there, it's me. You will never guess who I just spent a very civilized hour with. I mean, I guess we can start out civilized, but... <laughs> Donna. Gordon's dead. <laughs> 